forgive the metaphor, but they're like totally different galaxies, <laughs> I think, in, in terms of the genre, the time period, the technology, all of those things are so different, and even the writing style and the approach that we took, I mean, it, it just served a completely different purpose. And I think audiences are, are different now, and they demand different things, so it's so hard to compare. I think the old show is perfect for what it was during that time. I think it's, it's amazing, and it's a great reflection of the values and, and kind of what was going on during that time, how people like to be entertained and, and stuff like that, but it's so hard to compare. I, I like that they call it a reimagining, because I think that's really what it is. It's not so much a recreation. They weren't trying to create the same show at all. They use the same premise, the same, most of the same characters, although I do have to say I did kind of have a sigh of relief that my character wasn't in the original, so I didn't get any flack for like people comparing me or anything. Some people, like I know Katie Sackhoff who played Starbuck, people gave her a hard time. Yeah, and people love Starbuck, you know, as a man. So, so she had a really hard time with people accepting her, and um, I think, yeah, it w wasn't wasn't a good experience for her always. But, but I think in the end, hopefully, people saw that it it was something different altogether, and hopefully, you know, met their desires or, or needs now because the other one was in the past. You can only hold on to the past for so long. You know? Five more minutes? Some yeah. Yeah. I've heard that. Who, I know Luciana was on it. Who else? Doc Cottle? The smoking? Oh. Doc. They're all Vancouver people, yeah, so. I was curious if maybe you might see you one kind of I would love to. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I thought it was a uh, it was out of the question because it was it's 50 years in the past and people know me as Callie and it just wouldn't work. But since there are actors who have clearly been on Battlestar, I mean, the other two are smaller roles, but Lucia, I mean, that was a pretty, pretty substantial role. Did she play a character that looked a lot like her? She was, uh, she was dressed up more. She was dressed up more? Yeah. I don't know, we'll see, and maybe sorry, Ron will be getting an email. <laughs> <laughs> will you guys sign a petition? <laughs> <laughs> Joss in the hotel, and he's like, we all went out for dinner, 
But after hanging out with Jocelyn, he was such a huge fan of Battlestar, or is, and so it was so cool. I'd heard from going to all these conventions how he's a god, and how, like everyone loves Joss, and I didn't, I hadn't seen Firefly yet. So after I had dinner with him, and I actually, after having dinner, I was all excited about his perspective and the things that he shared about the show, and so I called the producers of Battlestar and I shared with them because I thought they'd be excited to hear you know, his thoughts. And then I went home and watched Firefly and I was like, oh, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah. So I, I learned after the fact, but, but he's really cool. Um, but you know what, since then, we've gotten together on various occasions. Like last year in Comic-Con, we all went to the House of Blues uh, concert where Bear McCreary and the whole orchestra played battle music from the soundtrack. And it was amazing. I don't know if they'll do something like that again, maybe for Caprica, but if you get a chance to go, it's phenomenal. Very moving. So, hope that's a better ending. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.